All right, I don't know if anybody out there uses these. I'm a huge fan of them. Um, I probably have 20 or 30 of them over the years. And the reason being is because I tend to wear the, the uh, left click button out. And you can hear it click and it'll still work. But what it tends to do is uh, over time you will be scrolling up and down click you know click down on something and scroll it'll stop scrolling or um, you'll accidentally double click on something that you weren't actually meaning to double click on and the problem is I'm getting in here it's kind of dark in here but um, anyway these micro switches uh, they go bad that's what happens to them so what I've been doing here lately since I have a big pile of them I have several over there and all that. But uh, what I've been doing is I never use these back and forward buttons at the top. So these switches are still good. So what I've been doing is desoldering them. And I, just, I just got done with this one just as an example. But uh, desolder and swap the switches around because they're identical. And then you'll have a good working uh, trackball. You know, these are the Logitech Marvel Trackmans or whatever they're called. And they're like $30 new. And they're like $30 new and there's zero point at all. And it's spending $30 every year when you can just swap switch. So we took this switch was here so we just swapped them around. And then what you can do if you wear this out again, you can come over here and get this switch, which is the uh, forward, I guess it would be forward, this one went over here was back. Um, you can take this switch and swap it over here for the left click switch. And that'll give you another year or two out of it until it completely wears out. And then you can throw it away and go get another one for 30 or $35. So, um, tools. Solder sucker works great, and I have a little 45 watt iron in there that I used to solder with. Probably a little bit overkill, but and of course an old sponge to wipe your solder out with, and wipe the ends of your uh, tips off. Don't want to burn your tips completely up, especially now that Radio Shack is out of business locally. Getting new tips for your soldering irons is kind of a bitch, so I have to order them online or drive several miles. But anyway. Hopefully this will help if you have these and you have that problem. Instead of throwing it away, if you know how to solder, you can just swap the switches around. Um, like I say, this one's done. It's ready to go back to service. Probably work again for another couple years. So, all right. Well, there's a little pile of them done. Still have a few more left laying around that need to be worked on, but I think that'll do for now. I think this is the original. Uh, yeah, this is one of the original PS2 models. For those of y'all who don't like wimpy computers and their USB ports. So anyway, swapped all the this one because it doesn't have the back and right. I just swapped the left and the right. More left click is more important than right click for me. So that'll give them new life again for a while.